So, about 9 billion years after the universe was born, in our tiny corner of space, a massive star had already exploded a colossal amount of enriched chemicals everywhere. From this cloud, gravity began its work again. The particles attracted to each other in a now familiar pattern and the pressure increased until the temperature reached 10 million degrees Celsius. And around 4.5 billion years ago, our sun lit up. Now luckily for us, some, about 0.1% of the matter surrounding the sun, was not pulled in, but was caught in the pull of its spinning motion. This flattened the debris into rings surrounding the sun, which then collided and pulled together into larger planet-like structures that orbited the sun, but had enough orbital energy to avoid its gravitational pull. From one of these orbits, the third from the Sun, our planet Earth was born. From 4.5 to 3.8 billion years ago, the Earth suffered heavy interstellar bombardment, which along with radioactive elements and pressure, turned it into a molten furnace in which most of the heavy elements such as iron and nickel sunk into the core and the lighter ones floated to the top. Around this time, a large planetary object about the size of Mars collided with the Earth and broke off a segment to create our moon. This really was not a nice place to be. The atmosphere was mostly nitrogen, water vapor and carbon dioxide spewing out of volcanoes. But as the debris from the creation of the solar system reduced, And with a little help from the enormous gravity pull of Jupiter, the hellish conditions subsided. Water vapour in the atmosphere cooled and rained down on the Earth to form the very first ancient oceans. And the crust formed a solid area of land known as Pangaea. Over time, this land will be forced apart by the large plates, a bit like the pieces of a broken clay plate, that would form the continents we now know today. So, the early Earth, bathed in light from a sun weaker than today, and with a moon much larger in the sky, a hive of volcanic activity caused by pressures from shifting crusts, and an atmosphere that tinged everything red was ready to undergo a most amazing accomplishment. To produce life.